Hey there, it's John Broman, FrontRowFactor.com. Welcome to 4 Minutes in the Front Row. Today, I've got a little mixture of stories, science, and strategy that will help you understand attention and why this is so important to you achieving your biggest goals and dreams. So the first, a famous study. In fact, if you go to YouTube and you type in selective attention, you will see this. Essentially, it is a group of about six people. Half of them are wearing white t-shirts, half of them are wearing black t-shirts, each team has a basketball, and they're standing in a circle, and on the screen it'll say, count how many times they pat the people in the white t-shirt pass the basketball back and forth. So you start paying careful attention, and you're counting and counting. At the end it says, how many times did you count? And I think the right answer was like 15. But then it says, did you happen to notice the gorilla? And you're like, what gorilla? When you rewind it, you actually notice that in the middle of them passing this ball around, a person in a gorilla costume walks into the middle, pounds on the gorilla chest, and then walks away. I watched this and couldn't believe that I did not notice the gorilla. Now, think about how this might apply to your own life. How many times do we think everybody noticed the clothes that we're wearing, everybody noticed the mistake that I made, and it paralyzes us from being bold in the world, creating art, doing things that matter because we're so worried about other people judging us or noticing or criticizing. There's actually a famous study and there's actually a, a funny story that I've heard recently around this. One involved the study of a person wearing a ridiculous t-shirt and so they were asked to go talk to all these groups of people wearing this ridiculous t-shirt, ridiculous t-shirt, and the person wearing the shirt was terrified. They're like, everybody's gonna think I'm an idiot. So they were measuring the responses of two people. One, the person wearing the t-shirt, and number two, everybody else that they interacted with. The interesting thing, hardly anybody who was interacting with the person wearing the ridiculous t-shirt even noticed it. Hardly anybody even remembered it. But the guy wearing the shirt, he thought everybody did. He thought everybody was laughing at him, everybody noticed. But that wasn't actually what happened. And then I remember hearing a story of somebody who gave a speech and they totally bombed it and they actually left the stage and they were thinking to themselves, man, my career is ruined, my reputation. But then there was actually something funny that happened is that most of the people in the audience couldn't remember the person's name that bombed, they couldn't remember their topic. In other words, to the person on stage bombing, so, so much more of a big deal than the crowd itself watching the person bombing. I think in our lives we have to remember this. People don't care about us as much as we think they do at times. And there's a whole bunch of other people that care about us a lot more than we give them credit for. We just have to give our attention to the appropriate people. And we have to understand how people's attention works with us. So that is encouragement for you, I hope, to be bold in your life. Create that video, give that speech, do that thing. Because I want to tell you that it's so important that you show up in the world being yourself, being expressive. Sure, somebody will judge you. Somebody will laugh at you. But a lot of times we're on the dance floor of life. We're dancing and we're doing our moves and we think everybody is noticing how bad of a dancer we are. But in reality, so many other people are just busy doing their own life. They're busy doing their own dance. They're busy doing their own thing. They're busy having a conversation. So get out there on the dance floor and dance like you mean it. Shake what your mama gave you. That's my message for today. Love you all. Until next time, keep living life in the front row. Take care.